Okay, so we got all of our airfoils and we are go for a launch. I will show you uh, what we're going to make in this section of the video. It's the. Um, I named it Root. This is what we're going to make. Uh, not so much, you know, this part, just the general shape. And uh, so I got this much by going to our uh, our three view here and looking at it. Uh, you'll see you got these wing tips, and then you kind of got this center section. And so we're gonna make the wing as three parts. So one, two, three. And um, looking at here, it looks like it's straight for about this far, and then it kind of goes up at a dihedral. Looks like maybe two, two and a half, maybe three degrees. Um, and so the way I measured this is it's all kind of eyeballing it, but uh, you know, it's the best we can do. So um, first thing I did was I uh, made a sketch over the top. So. Um, get as close as you can to the center of there and come straight up to about uh, there and uh, what I'm trying to do is line it up as best I can with this uh, center line so you can see and, um, and then eyeballing it up to there and we're going to slap some dimensions on here smart dimension um, so there's our overall distance which we will need you'll see why we need it here in a second and then we need the um, horizontal and the vertical distance of this part just like that so this is all in millimeters, and uh, we'll leave that sketch open so we can easily get to it. Um, so that's what we're making, and we'll make a new one of it so that you can see the process. Um, so first off, we have our front plane, and then we need to have a plane at the other end that's offset and what was our offset look like two seven eight four so two seven eight five I mean I'm just making them nice numbers because uh, at that point it really doesn't matter we're talking about fractions of millimeters so uh, we have our plane and we put a sketch here and a sketch up there and we're gonna put a loft between them to get the nice transition between the two uh, airfoils. So um, we're going to uh, first put a sketch on the front plane and then this is where um, our, our blocks that we made from our airfoils come into play. So we go to tools blocks insert block it'll give us this uh, dialog box here you want to go to browse go to where you saved it which for me is here and the starting one I believe was the 18 and look at that there's our airfoil for some reason I'm not sure why it uh, kind of forgets its references it may or may not work do that for you or not, but uh, since it did for me, I'm going to go through and fix them. Uh, now, what's interesting is these blocks are inside of the sketch. So you have your sketch, and then you have your block. And so you got to go inside your sketch, and then you got to double-click on your block to go and, and edit the actual uh, block in the sketch. So, to fix this mess, 
I just had to come in and reconstrain a few things. And yeah, I, I really don't know why it did this, but uh, it did, so instead of spending forever figuring it out why it did, I'm just going to fix it. And uh, just don't even worry about that, really, because since it's a block, we only care about putting this point. Oops, I double clicked. We only care about putting that point onto that point. Oh, no, I meant to do a coincidence. That point. Sorry, my computer is being really slow. On to that point. Make it coincident and horizontal because nobody wants a wing like that. Now we exit the sketch. So um, there is our starting center of our wing. And we will do a sketch on plane one over here. And we'll do the same thing with a different airfoil. Insert you know, tools, blocks, insert browse. It'd be nice if it remembered what directory I was in, but it doesn't. And we do the 15. Now, if we come in and look at this closer, it looks like it imported correctly, but I believe if you come in here and look closely, and I mean really closely, you'll see that it did not, you'll see that point is not coincident onto that point, which amounts to about maybe a half a degree, which um, most people would scoff at that and say, you know, it's just a half a degree, who cares? Well. Aerospace engineers care because a half a degree matters. So we got that fixed. And, uh, yep, same thing happened over here. Um, looks like this and that were not tangent, even though I set them to be. We'll just delete that line and retry it. I don't know what it's deal is. Sometimes there's it like won't display all the um, all of the uh, constraints on a part, and it won't uh, let you properly constrain it. So you just have to delete it and redo it. Seems stupid, but that's just the way it is. Put that. At horizontal again and now the key is uh, we got to make sure we get these lined up correctly so uh, exit out of the block and let's put ourselves normal so you'll see this is not correct actually made a constraint there. We want to put our leading edges in line, so we'll select the two uh, construction lines and put those as collinear. And then there is an offset of how much? We have our two profiles to put a loft between, but that is not enough because
the straight line, albeit a very nice clean conversion from one airfoil to the other, but uh, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for a straight line and then a pedahedral. Dihedral. Sorry, I always say that wrong. So, what we're going to do is put a plane referenced by these two points here. Yeah. There we go. We got to select the uh, point because I guess it something about that line it didn't like. It wasn't letting it you know, go into line with the uh, other points. So, we got a plane here that we can sketch on and um so we'll sketch on it. Why not? Uh, so here's our two profiles, and we are just going to draw a line horizontally, and then we got to change the perspective, and then go up to goes where you want it to and uh, the critical part here is to get this dimension correct which is uh, one three one five one three one five enter okay so we're done with that sketch. These are called guide curves that we are making here, and uh, they shaped shape the <laughs> shape they shape the loft. So um, you can put cool shapes, and you'll really see how awesome lofts are whenever you make the uh, engine cover. I won't select my point. What's the deal? There we go. And that point and that point. Sure, why not? We will put a sketch on it. And we can, I believe, just Take that sketch and convert it, and it should convert correctly. So, we got that. I'm going to hide the planes just because they kind of mud it up. It's kind of like a skeleton in a way. So, we come to uh, Features, Lofted, Voss, and Base. I like to select them over here because you select it over here, sometimes you get your endpoints messed up. So select our two profiles, and then this is where the real magic happens, is you select your guide curves. And there you have it, a nice perfect conversion from one NACA airfoil to another NACA airfoil with a bend in the middle, which uh, you know, sounds crazy hard, but as you saw, it really wasn't that bad. Um, so, that's half of it. So you're asking yourself, well, how do you make the other half? Well, have I got a nice feature for you, and it's called mirroring. And it saves everybody so much time. There you go. So you would have uh, saved that as as you see fit. I already have it saved, so uh, I don't really need to. I actually, I'm kidding, I'm going to save it because I'm, I want to walk through how to make the flaps. I'll save it in a new folder called Video Center. Okay, um, so next we are going to work on the wingtips, which are similar, but uh, 
I just don't want to make a video one one clip too long, so we're gonna cut it off.